In the bustling world of casinos, where every chip and card seems under the highest security, the last thing you might expect to be a security risk is a fish tank. Yet in 2017, a sophisticated cyber attack targeted an unnamed casino through an unexpected vector, a smart fish tank. As the title fades from the screen, we are left to ponder how a device as seemingly benign as a fish tank could lead to a breach of profound implications. The last thing you'd expect to be a security risk is the aquarium in the lobby. Yet it was precisely this that hackers targeted. The fish tank was equipped with a smart thermostat connected to the internet to allow for remote temperature adjustments, pH balance monitoring, and overall tank health. But how did this seemingly simple aquarium become the critical entry point for a complex cyber attack? The subtle signs of the breach first surfaced on the sophisticated monitoring systems provided by Darktrace, a leader in cyber AI. In this instance, the AI detected that the fish tank's thermostat was communicating with external IP addresses in a manner that was out of character for its normal operations. The alert from Darktrace gave the casino's security team the early warning they needed to quickly isolate the fish tank and scrutinize its digital communications further. Intriguingly, further investigation revealed that some of the suspicious external IP addresses were traced back to Finland, adding an international dimension to the breach. What they found was a hidden gateway that had been cleverly embedded within the thermostat software, a gateway through which hackers were funneling valuable data. Remarkably, over 10 gigabytes of sensitive data were transmitted to these Finnish locations, highlighting the scale and severity of the data exfiltration. As the security team delved deeper into the mechanics of the hack, they uncovered a complex malware operation. Rumors swirled about the potential hackers behind this audacious breach. Some speculated that it was the work of APT28, also known as Fancy Bear, a notorious Eastern European cybercrime group known for their stealth and expertise in exploiting Internet of Things devices. Others suggested that it could be the handiwork of Lazarus Group, associated with competitive corporate espionage, aiming to undermine the casino's operations. The method was deceptively simple, yet brilliantly executed. The hackers exploited a previously unnoticed vulnerability in the thermostat software, a backdoor left unsecured by inadequate firmware updates. Using this entry point, they injected malware that was programmed to lie dormant, avoiding immediate detection by mimicking normal network traffic. Once activated, the malware began to siphon data systematically. It targeted sensitive information, such as high roller profiles, financial transactions, and security schedules. The hackers designed the malware to transmit the stolen data to remote servers during hours of low network traffic thereby reducing the likelihood of detection. It demonstrated not only the vulnerabilities inherent in connected devices, but also the sophistication with which modern cyber criminals operate. As investigations continued, the digital trail suggested that the hackers had not only planned this for months, but had also tested their methods on other smaller, less secure networks. The ripple effects of the breach were far-reaching and multifaceted. Analysts estimated that the potential loss could run into tens of millions of dollars, considering the direct theft of funds, the disruption to casino operations, and the cost of forensic investigations and security overhauls. Beyond the financial implications, the breach struck a critical blow to the casino's reputation. Trust is the cornerstone of any gaming operation, and the revelation that sensitive personal information had been compromised led to a sharp decline in patron confidence. High rollers, particularly sensitive to breaches of privacy, began reconsidering their loyalty, potentially driving them to competitors. The legal ramifications also began to take shape swiftly. Within weeks, the casino faced multiple lawsuits alleging negligence in protecting customer data. These legal battles threatened to not only increase financial liabilities, but also extend the scandal's life cycle, keeping the breach in the public eye and compounding the reputational damage. In the immediate aftermath of the breach, the casino's response was swift and multifaceted. Recognizing the gravity of the situation, 
they mobilized an elite team of cybersecurity professionals to contain the breach and safeguard vulnerable data points. The first step was to completely isolate the compromised thermostat and any other IoT devices connected to the casino's network. Each device was meticulously scrutinized for signs of tampering or any residual malicious software. With the immediate threat contained, the focus shifted to long-term mitigation strategies. The casino upgraded its entire digital infrastructure, implementing advanced encryption for data transmission and enhancing endpoint security across all operational levels. To address vulnerabilities in its IoT ecosystem, the casino partnered with leading cybersecurity firms to develop custom solutions tailored to the unique challenges of the gaming industry. These solutions included real-time threat detection systems powered by artificial intelligence, designed to predict and neutralize threats before they could materialize. Understanding the importance of transparency in restoring trust, the casino launched a comprehensive public relations campaign. They openly addressed the breach, outlined the steps taken to enhance security, and committed to ongoing improvements in line with the latest technological advancements. The breach at the casino wasn't just a wake-up call for the gambling industry. It resonated across sectors, spotlighting the ubiquitous threat posed by connected devices. The incident underscored a critical lesson. The security of IoT devices is integral to the broader network security framework of any organization. Experts have pointed out that the proliferation of IoT devices has outpaced the development of their security protocols. This breach illuminated the risks, showing how seemingly innocuous devices could serve as entry points for sophisticated cyber attacks. Research following the breach revealed startling vulnerabilities. A staggering 70% of commonly used IoT devices contain significant security flaws, ranging from inadequate password protection to unencrypted data transmissions. In response, industries have begun to invest more heavily in comprehensive IoT security solutions. These include advanced network segmentation, regular security audits, and the implementation of AI-driven anomaly detection systems that can adapt to new threats dynamically. Educational curriculums in technology and business schools now emphasize IoT security, preparing the next generation of cybersecurity professionals to think critically about the architecture and inherent vulnerabilities of interconnected devices. This incident serves as a stark reminder that in the digital age, an effective cybersecurity strategy must evolve continually to counteract the emerging threats presented by new technologies. It's a lesson that resonates with all stakeholders, from the boardroom to the living room, stressing that the security of the smallest device can impact the integrity of the largest institutions. As our exploration of the fish tank hack concludes, we are reminded of the fragile balance between innovation and security in our interconnected world. This breach, though seemingly minor in its origin, cascaded into a series of profound repercussions that reshaped how we think about cybersecurity. From the neon lights of Las Vegas to the digital screens of our devices, the lesson is clear. No element of our digital ecosystem is too small to be ignored. The breach at the casino was not just a failure of one device, but a reflection of a broader oversight in digital security practices. It prompts a call to action for everyone, from the engineers who design these devices to the end users who rely on them. Each stakeholder in the digital chain bears a responsibility to advocate for and maintain robust security measures. In the end, the fish tank hack serves as a poignant reminder of our vulnerabilities and our potential. By learning from past mistakes, we can forge a path to a more secure future where the marvels of technology can flourish without becoming conduits for calamity.